Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexon and welcome back everybody to The Crafting Dead. As you can see, these are a few gear stuff that I got from the shop, which is just two sets of one water and a open tactical bacon, an FNF ale with one mag, and a sledgehammer. And that's all I got from the shop, just so I can get myself started off. I'm kind of trying to make my own kits here and there every time I do die by accident. Hey look, there's a Santa dude. Any gear? Oh, no, nothing. Okay, let's get that heck out of here. Well, let's keep looking around. Uh, I want to say thank you guys for all the support you're leaving on the last episode episode of the crafting dead you guys have been fantastic and it really does mean a lot to see that so thank you again if we could do the same thing once more that would be absolutely fantastic if we could reach 100 likes that'd be mind-blowing so thank you guys again for just showing the support of the crafting dead on atlanta the place where we first started and where everything i think is supposed to be you know i think everything on atlanta server is just balanced out so perfectly that it's just the right place for me to do the crafting dead series at the moment to kind of go back to the roots and kind of start fresh and then in the future we'll we'll always return to other servers and things of that nature so it should be pretty good um so that's that um also guys i wanted to let you guys know you know it's fantastic to see that you guys really do care so much about fear the crafting dead and uh, i really want to thank you guys for just you know still being you know concerned about the series and saying where is it and things of that nature i do see those comments and it it really does you know it, it bugs me that um, I'm still trying to get the, ser the server up and running. Uh, I really want to get the roleplay up and going so you guys can all have something to watch and enjoy. And it's something I think I really want to do and, and complete throughout the summer because it's something I have time to do. So with that being said, I'm really trying, guys. You know, when things go south sometimes and I say, oh, hopefully the uh, roleplay will be back, you know, early June, Jul uh, July. And it doesn't, that means something may have happened within that um, and things are still trying to get fixed so that... It can, you know, come out as soon as possible. But, you know, everything is there. It's it's ready to go. Um, you know, we're waiting. Brazil is actually plus. The only good thing was Brazil was actually about like a one-month uh, vacation. So that was also challenging for us to do as well to try to get that role play out. So now that he's back soon and I'm going on a one-week vacation, it'll give me and the hosting company time to really get things sorted out so that when I return from vacations, role plays can return. So, you know, I thank you guys again for all the support you've been leaving in the comment sections. So that really does mean a lot and it goes a long way. So that's that. A quick little update again for Fear the Crafting Dead. I know that a lot of you guys were curious about that. So, ooh, there's a lot of walkers around here. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go and continue looking around these places here now for the most part I the reason why I don't like using kits now is simply because I like to go and scavenge around see what I can find and of course using a small little makeshift kit that I created in shop is always a even balanced out thing so that's pretty good let's go see what's going on in here in this place all right uh, I don't think anyone's here I'm gonna do slash near 100 uh, there's no one around okay that's pretty good I'll give us some time to kind of search this place and for the most part if there's anyone around here they're probably noobs all right we don't need this can i don't know why i got that empty soda can all right so let's keep looking around more tactical bacon perfect i'm gonna swap that out awesome so we kind of have a, a decent balance of food not too bad okay what's this hard hat i don't need that oh i actually might need a hard hat uh this is a screwdriver I don't need it. Wait, you can actually craft with canned goods. To oh, so I was right. You actually can do that um, using screwdrivers to open canned food. So there's some. There you go. I'm, I'm liking that update. That's actually really realistic, and it makes sense because you don't always need a can opener. So that's really cool. I was always thinking that they didn't have that, so they do now. So that's freaking awesome. Awesome. Sweet. Let's throw this out. Oh, did I hear someone? I felt like I heard someone. I think I'm mistaken. I think we're okay. Is there anyone out there? No, just some walkers. Okay, let me take this hard hat just so I can, uh, you know, have it just in case there are anyone, any weapons around here. And the best thing about last episode was the fact that we actually ran into someone at the police station. If you guys all know, police station is chaotic. You know, everyone goes there, people kill each other there. It's insane um, on the server. So when I went last episode and saw the guy there and he didn't kill me, that was freaking amazing. He was actually giving me some supplies and, you know, kind of I made my way out. So that was awesome. Only sad thing is when I did log out, uh, my body was still there and then it got killed. So uh, whatever, it is what it is. We're going to keep going around here. Uh, I'm going to put this hard hat on. Why not? Um, it is pretty good for headshot. So, oh, I'm going to watch out here because the door was closed. And sometimes, all right, that was interesting. Sometimes there are people here that close the doors and usually go loot out. So he's got, always got to be careful and make sure you're safe. Now we came from, all right, so we still got a lot to look here. I believe we came from the lookout tower right there. 
No, that's actually someone's base. I want to make sure we can... Okay, so we came from there. So we're going in this direction. Perfect. I just want to make sure we're balanced out and everything. So that's pretty good. Also, I want to let you guys know... Uh, actually, I want to ask you guys... What do you think of the upload schedule for the channel at the moment? Having 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time for... Oh, what was this? A mask? I don't need that. Oh, that guy looked like a person. Oh my gosh, that was intense. That, that zombie looked like a person. But I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think of the upload schedule? 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time to have the Minecraft Server Let's Play. And the uh, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time to have a type of Crafting Dead or Infected RPG uh, upload. Let me know what you guys think about that. That will be fantastic. I think the upload schedule is really working well. You guys seem to really be showing a lot of support around that time. So, with that being said, that's really fantastic. And I really do thank you guys. Whoa, how do we get hit? That's not, oh, it was a bit of lag, that's why, okay. I hope we're not bleeding. No, we're fine. Okay, that's good. I was worried for a second. Alright, there's a lot of walkers aggro to me right now, so I'm gonna kind of just check out a few more homes and hopes for some supplies, some extra supplies, but if not, I'm gonna make my way out of this village and see what else I can find down the road. Um, I do have the coordinates for the military base, so we're probably gonna go check that out in the next episode, so that's pretty big hype right there. Oh, M1 Grand Clip. That's actually really good, so we're gonna keep storing our food here, keep our M1 Grand Clip there. We can actually store half of the food supplies in there. I think that would be fair enough. And we do have an extra juice pouch, which is good for some type of hydration, some extra food. Okay, looking good on supplies. I think this is decent survival gear supplies, so I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, a pipe. That would be good for emergency, so we'll store that in our backpack. Look in here. Nothing. All right, sweet. So, so far, not too bad. Oh, what's this over here? I didn't see that. What is this? It's a, oh, another pipe. I don't really need a pipe right now. I'm kind of good with what I have. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go run in the direction. I don't know if I want to run in this direction. Actually, yeah, let's go. Let's go over this hilltop and see what we can find because we just came across from the other side. So I think it'll be a fair game to see what's on this side of the mountain because uh, I feel like if I go that way, I'm going to run into probably um, near the beach or the ocean over there. So I want to go see what's on this side. Let me actually eat up a fresh pear because it gives me a balance of hydration and food so uh that's not too bad at all not too uh not too bad so oh my gosh look at all these walkos <laughs> walkos <laughs> we should call them walkos not joking walkers um all right all right oh okay someone's base actually i know where that's gonna lead us that's gonna go in an area full of bases and i don't want to go where it's just an area oh are we lacking out here are we like i think we're lagging out completely here um, the server might close. Please don't close. We're just gonna keep walking. Maybe those zombies just derped out on the second break blocks. Oh, it is. Okay, so that means there it is. All right, timed out. So I guess the server are, is doing a quick little reset, which happens once in a while. So that really does suck. So what I'm gonna do is most likely I'm gonna pause it here unless things come back and work. But it really looks like they're completely offline. Oh wait, there we go. Back in luck. Sweet. Awesome. Good to be back. That was a quick reset, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so I'm going to go down this hill because, as I mentioned, that hill over there was kind of, I think, full of just bases. So I think it was a good idea to actually go in that direction. So that's that. Oh, guys, one more thing. Who's excited for the Walking Dead season return and also the marathon? That's going to be big hype as well. I'm looking forward to that. And a lot of you guys are really supportive about the Maze Runner as well for the roleplay. So I'm looking forward to developing that as well. I really want to I really want to personally, you know, take these roleplays far and see how far we can develop them. But I really do need a hosting company that's there. Of course, I have Daddy Fire, which is a close friend of mine's hosting company. But I can't always be asking to borrow things here and there you know i gotta make sure it's balanced out because he's got his own things to do and i can't just keep um bugging and stuff like that even though they're awesome and again i have a promo code use it down below it's in the description make sure you check it out they're fantastic they're actually the ones that are hosting the minecraft sort of a let's play series with uh for with uh matrix and i um, so that's really fantastic of them to be doing that. And who knows, maybe in the future they might let us um, host another one for Fear the Craft and Dead or the Maze Runner. So I'm actually going to go follow this path. It does go around this hill. So I think it's fairly okay. And it's turning day, so that's actually a bit easier on the traveling. So not too bad. And also, you guys are really enjoying the fact that I'm back on Atlanta server number one. So I was really happy to see that. So that's great. Thank you guys again for all the support on that as well. Uh, all right, where are we going to go now? I think next episode we're sh for sure going to go and explore the military base um, because it has a lot of stuff there. And I was there last time, and it is completely intense. There's towers. There's everything you can imagine. So it's pretty crazy. Oh, wait. 
Guys, oh, this is crazy. You know what this is right here? This is actually my base, believe it or not. This is actually kind of unique. This is actually my base. Look at this. How the heck did we just run into this place like that? That's insane. And I do have some gear here. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is insane. All right, sweet. So I actually forgot I built this. Oh my gosh, this is great. All right, so we got some food here. Look at that, guys. Look at that luck. That's insane. I think I can actually craft ourselves a che another chest. Actually, I don't think I do have enough for another chest. Uh, but guys, that is absolutely crazy. Look at the luck, guys. It's insane. All right, so we're going to take ourselves a bandage. We're going to throw our M1 grand. Um, and I think for our, what did we loot today? Let's see what we looted today. I guess a pipe, some extra food. So we can actually drop some of this food in here. Um, and the pipe. I really like this idea of scavenging and then dropping off our supplies here. So, alright, that's pretty good. That's decent. I don't have much water around here, so that's something we have to collect more of. Don't have a canteen. Alright, I think I can add on my FNFAL a, uh, what's it called? One of those tactical grips. Yeah, that's better. That way it has a better, uh, control when you're shooting it. Okay, pretty good. Um, sledgehammer is still doing okay. Um... All right, I'm going to take maybe one clean rag, actually a dirty rag, and I'll clean it later if I show up near water. Um, other than that, I think we are in a good spot. Ah, oh, sweet. And also, this is a perfect location because right across there is the buildings and all that. So this is actually a perfect location for this base. Man, I'm really hyped that I found this again. I thought I lost it, but I, I forgot. Oh, wait, let me do slash set home. There we go. I forgot. I thought I didn't set it. Maybe I was mistaken. All right, let me eat uh, the bag of rice. There we go. Let's eat this up. Hydration level is not doing too well, but we can have a juice pouch and then see if we can find ourselves a canteen. Or uh, we can throw this in here for now. Keep the rag and we can continue to go with the supplies we have on us right now. All right, looking good. Let's keep going, guys. So, f oh wait, did I have any helmets in here? Uh, no, I did not. Okay, so we can keep going. Sweet, guys. Let's keep going in this direction for a little bit. See what we can find off this road. And uh, that's pretty awesome, guys. Yeah, that's my base. Um, I forgot to show you guys that. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, but yay, now you guys know. So that was perfect timing. All right. Uh, where else? I think there are some buildings down in this direction. Maybe, maybe not. It doesn't matter if it's not. So that's not a big deal. And uh, one more thing you guys were talking about. You said you really did enjoy the challenges here and there. Um, so what I think of doing is... Oh, no. Am I bleeding out? I am. Okay. Good thing I have a rag. I think I still have the rag on me. Let me just get a bit of distance from these guys. Okay, I gotta, I'm gonna use my bandage on the, on this. And then we gotta go find ourselves some type of water so we can clean out this dirty rag that we have. And I think it could be in this direction, I'm not sure, but for the most part, there are a lot of bases around here. So, um, there's always this fire around here, which I never understood. So we're gonna go in this direction and see if we can find anything. I think for the most part, this is home bases for people. So we're gonna kinda just go around in the mountains and see what we can find. But a lot of you guys were saying about challenges and how you guys enjoy watching those challenge videos. And I think that if I'm gonna do a challenge video, it's gonna be with someone. And it's also gonna take place on a different server besides Atlanta server number one. Because I feel like this server is going to be my server survival type series. And then my challenges will be different and kinda just like more challenge based on different servers servers and really not having some, some type some type of plan for the most part, you know what I mean? So I think that would be a fair game. Uh, what's on this side? This place looks pretty cool. I feel like this place has a lot of buildings heading in that direction. So we're going to head this way and then we'll probably continue to go in this direction um, in the next few episodes and see what we can find. I think if anything, next episode will be going to the military base. I do have pictures of those cords. Um, oh, there's some bases. Oh, water. Perfect. So we can clean our dirty rag out. And then it'll be just enough time to finish off today's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, if you, uh, make sure you guys hit that like button if you haven't already. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys also subscribe as well. And, uh, yeah. So you guys have been fantastic with all the support. Again, I really do appreciate it. Um, all right. So we're going to walk, I think, on throughout the coast here and see what this offers us. I believe there's some other type of buildings down in that direction. So we're just gonna keep walking, and this is pretty cool just walking like this. Look at this, freaking awesome survivor. I like this. Oh, it's actually a really cool perspective going in this like this. That's actually not too bad. We can walk a bit like this until we end off today's episode. It's gonna be difficult to aim and things like that, but uh, I think for walking, it's pretty cool. You kinda get a big scope around here. Looks like people have built more around here as well. Okay, that's good to know. Um, I'm gonna probably head in this direction 
and see what I can find. Maybe some other supplies, some resources, who knows. But again, we're coming to the end of today's episode. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button. Um, and also let me know down below your suggestions, comments, things of that nature. And if you're new again, also don't forget to subscribe. So we're going to end off today's episode. I'm actually going to go up in this little hilltop here so I can get some clearance from any of those bases. If someone's there, I don't want to get killed. And I'll hide behind this tree. Let me just get a good height from here. I think this will be a pretty good distance. Right here is actually perfect. So I'm going to hide right about here. And again, if you guys enjoyed, my name is Alex, and peace out, and stay foxy.